there children, I hope you're having another magical day today and I don't know what you're getting up to, maybe you're doing some painting or some drawing or maybe you've got some play-doh out or you're just having a nice relaxing time singing and dancing next to your Christmas tree. Don't know. Now do you remember children, that the other day I had a very special message from Father Christmas. Can you hear it? It was Father Christmas calling me, wasn't it? And he sent us a very special telegram. And I put it up there. And he was telling us that something different had happened and that he was really happy with you. And that his only thing that you needed to do, other than to continue to be good, was to leave something out for the reindeer this year. So maybe you're thinking about what you might be able to leave out for them. I don't know, maybe they're like some, I wouldn't eat and leave anything like raisins or currants just in case you've got a doggy at home because Christmas time for dogs is really bad news um, because they mustn't eat anything like chocolate or currants or raisins, all those dried fruits that we like to eat at Christmas time are really bad for doggies, so make sure you don't leave any of those about. But you could leave something like um, apple or a pear, maybe they like pears, or they might like a bit of tangerine or satsuma. So it's something nice and yummy. Okay, but when I got here, children, there was more presents underneath the tree. So we're doing a special number game, and I think you're helping me, aren't you? to make sure I match the numbers correctly. So shall I open up my basket? And I'm gonna close my eyes and you're gonna help me choose a number. You ready? We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Okay, in goes my hand, I've got a number. what number this is. He's got a long body and then he goes along here and then he goes down through the middle. Ah, thank you children. It's number four. So we need to look down here to see if we can find number four anywhere. Are you ready to have a look with me? Well, we know these ones are the pretend ones, don't we, that we did for decoration. So they haven't got any tags on. So it's not one of these. And it's not that one either, is it? Let's have a look at this one. This has got a tag. Let's see if it's the same. What do you think, children? think so. Number four is made of straight lines, isn't it? And this number, <coughs> excuse me children, my asthma's not good today, it's quite cold outside and um, anyway, this one, he goes round and round like this. He's called number six. So, not the same, same colour. So it's a bit like currants and raisins being the same, but they're not the same. Same colour, but not the same. It's not number six we're looking for. Hmm. Is it one of these? No, not that one. Oh, I wonder if they were by the snowman and the reindeer. I love that film, The Snowman. Have you watched that one? And they've got a new one out, haven't they, called The Snowman and the Dog, I think. I've not seen it. Maybe I'll get to watch it over Christmas. Let's have a look. Ah, look, children. Can you see? I think they might be the same. They've got a long body, and then it goes along, and then through the middle, long body, and along and through the middle. It's called number four. So this is the right one. Shall we open it? Okay. Now it's that funny time. 
time and I must make sure that I smell with my nose and listen with my ears because I got it so wrong the other day, didn't I? Let's have a go. Okay. <coughs> oh! <laughs> I did it again, children. Smell with your nose, Sandra. Silly sausage, Sandra. Mm, doesn't smell of anything. Okay, listen. Ooh. Doesn't make a lot of noise. Hmm, maybe it's a xylophone. Could be. Xylophones are long. Might be. Remember the shape of it, children? It's got one long side, two long sides, a short side, and another short side. It's called a rectangle. Let's open it up and see. Oh, this time the Father Christmas's elves have used gold ribbon. That's very special indeed. You'd be using gold ribbon. Okay, let's open it up. Any guesses? Mm hmm. Could be. That's a good guess. Yes, like that idea. Any more thoughts? Oh, I hadn't thought of that one. Could be. I don't think it is a telephone, no. No, I don't think it's a telephone. Some fruit? Mm, don't think it's some fruit either. Box of chocolates? Oh, or some shortbread. You know I love my shortbread. Let's have a look. Are you ready? Steady. <laughs> what have we got, children? Tell me, tell me. Oh, wow, this is perfect because we're learning about these at the moment, aren't we? It's called number dominoes. Ah, now Christian will like this because it's got diggers and tractors and cars. So lots of you will like that. Oh, hey, there's some fruit on here too. So it looks like, children, that you have to count the number. So like here, one, two, three, four. Five, six, and it may be then you have to find a matching number six. So like this one has got one, two, three, four, five, but the number hidden there is number four. So you'd have to find something with four on it. That is going to be a super fun game to play. We've got other domino sets, haven't we? But we haven't got a number one. So I'm looking forward to playing number dominoes. So that uh, you won't be able to see, but um, the zero next to nothing, because zero means nothing. And you match the one and the one, etc. Wow, that's a really good one, Father Christmas. Thumbs up. Maybe we should give Father Christmas a double thumbs up because he's done really well. He's been very brave. In fact, it's you that's done really well because you've behaved so lovely and good and gorgeous. And Father Christmas is so pleased with you that he sent you some presents. Yeah. Are you ready for your story, children? Okay, let's have a look at what we've got today. Now, this was a story that I bought and it only arrived last week. So it's a bit sad, I think you only got to listen to it once and Sue very kindly read it for me because I didn't have any voice. So I've not actually read this since my children were very, very, very small. So let's have a little see what it is all about. And it's called The Jolly Christmas Postman. And it's written by somebody called Janet and Alan Alberg and they wrote the book, which you might have at home, each Peach, Pear, Plum, which is a lovely book. It's like a peepo book. You might have it at home. Let's find the first page. The Jolly Christmas Postman. Oh, look, I think they've left something out for Father Christmas. A glass of sherry or something with some mince pies. Mmm, very tasty. Okay, off we go. Once upon a Christmas Eve, just after it had snowed, the jolly postman, him again, came down the jolly road. 
and in the bag upon his back an interesting load. First stop, four bears cottage and it says two baby bear, four bears cottage, the woods. Ooh. Now he's got a post stamp saying Banbury Cross, 23rd of December 1988. So this is when this book was written a long time ago. Okay, shall we have a look at the letter? I've got to go inside. Oh, it's got a picture of Santa's workshop and it says, oh, it's a Christmas card. To baby bear and brother from Goldilocks and sister. Happy Christmas and a Christmas joke. Oh, I'll read you the Christmas joke. Who's been eating my pudding? you soft bears. I haven't served it yet, says Mummy Bear. <laughs> and she's bringing in the Christmas pudding. Let's pop that back in there. So he got a Christmas card. Oh, it could be quite tricky doing this. There we go. In the envelope. A Christmas card for Baby Bear. A baby, a bear who's shy, a mummy up her ladder, a postman with a pie, a postman on his back again. Ta-ta! Take care! Bye-bye! Oh look, mummy bear is up the ladder doing the Christmas tree. They're putting garlands all up in their room. Please turn that out. The jolly postman cycles on. He sees three fiddlers playing. Oh, where are they? Here they are. They're playing with their violins. The fast eloping dish and spoon. The mighty beanstalk swaying. Oh, from Jack and the Beanstalk, here it is. The seven dwarfs upon the hill. The jolly snowman slaying. There's the snowman. Where are the seven dwarfs? Oh, up there. It's like a fairy story book, isn't it? And by and by, second stop, he comes to Red Riding Hood's house. It says, first class. Miss R. Hood, the playhouse, garden path, diddle dumpling. Oh! It's called Wobbleton. Hmm? Post early for Christmas. Let's see. What has she got? It's from Mr. Wolf to Robin Hood this festive time of year. A little gift for being good. And a Merry Christmas, dear. P.S. I'm a changed wolf. Ah, look. He's made her a game. A bit like um, snakes and ladders, I guess, where you have to go forward and back so many spaces. We can play that, can't we, children? When we come back, we can have dice, little counters, and it tells you how you have to play. And there's to be no cheating, no pulling faces at your little big or sister or brother, no arguing with your mum, your dad, your gran, your uncle Charlie or the milkman, and no boasting if you win and no sulking if you lose. So there are the rules. The rules are to have fun. Mm. That's very important, always to have fun. game and lucky girl but see what's written here from mr wolf he's got a nerve a merry christmas dear hmm. the postman can't think what to say and sips his ginger beer and eats his pie and waves bye bye i don't think miss riding hood really wanted to have a letter from the wolf the postman gets back on his bike and rides another mile. A crooked mile, in actual fact, it takes him quite a while. He never finds the sixpence. Though so we'll come to that the style. And besides, the crooked man has it. Next stop, 
the hospital? Who could be in the hospital? Which nursery rhyme, I wonder? Ah, Mr. H. Dumpty. Do you remember what Mr. Dumpty did? Humpty Dumpty sat on a... On a wall, that's right. Wincy Ward, Cock Robin Memorial Hospital. Okay, let's open up the envelope and see what he's got. Ah, dear Humpty, get well soon from all the king's men and horses. Happy Christmas. And if we look, he comes to part, he's a jigsaw, and then you have to put him back together again. Just like Humpty Dumpty falling off the wall. That's clever, isn't it? And all the king's men and all the king's horses couldn't put Humpty together again. Humpty Dumpty smiles and blinks. A jigsaw for me? What fun! And he thinks. From all the king's horses and all the king's men? How nice! Oh, and then he falls out of bed and gets cracked again! Oh no! Twice! Never mind, in comes the Dr. Foster, in comes the nurse, in comes the lady with the alligator purse, and they mend him. The jolly postman weighs for five, he still has far to go, the sun has vanished from the sky, the clouds are hanging low. He feels a kiss upon his cheek, the first fresh flakes of snow. And comes number four to a small tin door. The gingerbread boy, McVitie House, Little Toe Lane, Toy Town. Mmm. Pato Cake Bakers, it's called. Let's see what he's got. The gingerbread man. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. It says, miles of smiles for little people, clockwork people, small dressed up animals, elves, pixies, teddies, dolls, and talking biscuits. Of course. It says, the Toy Town Christmas Annual. Stories and pictures for little people, all your favourites, Tom Thumb, Tiny Tim, Wee Willy Winky, and many more. It's a whole little book. In here. Picture puzzles, crackers, Christmas cracker jokes, a little story. So we can have a look at this children in the new year, can't we? Have a look together really cleverly and um, really closely and see what else it's got to say in there. A book in a book, says the gingerbread boy. What a simply delicious surprise! But if only he knew he's in one, two, that would really open his eyes. Then, a bucket of tea for the postman and four and twenty mince pies. I think he's going to turn into a mince pie at this rate. He does like them, doesn't he? Off through the snow, the postman rides with more than a meal in his insides. He's all shook up and all of a quiver. It's not just the cold that makes him shiver. There's a letter he'd rather not deliver. Do you know who? Ooh, Mr. Wolf the Den. Ooh, I don't know if I want to go there. And this little one says three little pigs. Uh-oh. Open it and see. Oh, there's nothing on the outside. It's all blank. Let's see what it is. Oh, I've got to open, open, open. Let's see what it says. It says, The Wolf Spotter's Guide Christmas Edition Special. Some good advice for girls and boys, grandmas, woodcutters, small pigs, gingerbread boys, turkey sandwiches, and pineapple yogurts. They're just about eating. Watch out, wolf news. How to spot a wolf, whether it's in a Christmas tree, 
how to spot clues whether they've got big teeth, big ears, big eyes. <laughs> Christmas disguises. This is not a turkey. Uh oh, or oh, a post box. <laughs> But all's well and all's merry. The wolf's just wolfing pies and sherry and playing games in his cosy den. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? With the three little pigs and the little red hen. After all, it is Christmas. There's no need to be scared. But now it's really snowing and the winter wind is blowing and the daylight, it is going. Jolly postman, jolly cold, has just no way of knowing where he is. <gasps> he stops behind a wall of ice. He spies a crack of light. He finds a little golden door and disappears from sight. Along a tunnel, dark and cool, to a workshop, warm and bright. <gasps> He ended up, children. Can you see? There's lots of elves, isn't there? And lots of toys. <gasps> There's an outfit there with black boots and red, with white trim. And there's somebody here. Where's he ended up? <laughs> A cup of tea with Santa and Mrs. Santa too. Got any children's letters? The postman smiles. A few. Oh, fancy that, says Santa. Now we've got one for you. For our good old pal, the postman. And it says, take a peek. Okay. Oh, how does this one open? Oh, look, 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 look. Do you have to peek through the peephole? This is when you can look at when we come back. And if you look all the way through there, it's a concert, it's what we call a concertina. And then you'll be able to see lots of things happening. So I'm going to have a little look. And you go like this. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's very clever, children. I'm looking forward to showing you that. It's that magic looking in there. Show for a postman. The postman peeps inside. Here he is having a look. A postman's round completed. It's time to take a ride. But how to make the journey? The drifts are deep and wide. It says to avoid the snow. Ho, ho, ho. I can see some reindeer. <laughs> Who's he going to go with, children? gonna have a ride with Father Christmas and there's Rudolph with his red nose right at the very beginning. The end children. I hope you enjoyed that story and I'm gonna keep it out and about so when I see you after Christmas we can have a look together at all the magical things that were in everybody's letters that the postman delivered. I hope you're having a magical day and I really hope to see you soon.